It is May 1st, 2021 in Toronto. I'm by Lake Ontario, Sunnyside Beach Park, I think. Uh, there is the city line. It was a sunny day today. But uh, and I did a great walk on Dundas Street. I just took some photographs. I'll probably make a film with it. And then I decided to, since the sun and the clouds were so... This is so junky here, isn't it? Look at this. It's like uh, a gun. What, what, what kind of... That's kind of strange, isn't it? They could have cleaned this up. It's a lot of bricks and construction junk here. Wow, it's really windy. huh? I thought I'm going to head by the beach and catch some great sun and light because it was sunny, cloudy, you know, heavy clouds. But it's turned real nasty and kind of cold and... Um, Look, look at this. Uh, let me take a photograph of this. I like this. Uh, very junk. Okay, heads up. Kind of garbage in the water. Oh my God, I can't believe people throw this kind of... I guess the trash gets thrown up the river and kind of comes down all the way down here. Not necessarily dropped here. It's funny, everybody's super into environmental and, and planets changing its temperatures and planet changing his mood and everything which is good and all that but you know still people are throwing garbage in the lakes I mean that is super funny I find it really funny I mean you find all sorts of garbage trash you know spray cans and all sorts of stuff in the rivers and parks I think that's pretty important that's funny for 221 people still do that what's this thing this is another piece of trash here Hmm, I like this one. It's a black bottle and a beer can. I love it. There's another beer can here. Ah, cool. That's good. Sometimes, you know, if you're in an emergency, the trash by the rivers can actually save your life. The sky is incredible. Clouds are incredible. You know, if you ever caught in an emergency situation, beer cans and Coke bottles, they could come in survival-wise handy. So, you know, like I always say, everything's got, got good and bad to it. If you're stuck in, a, in an emergency situation and you're lost, finding those kind of trash could save your life. You can hold water and, you know, carry water and all sorts of stuff. But you can only do that when you're absolutely destitute because I don't know how who would want to drink out of a it's an old plastic bottle that's been abandoned there's a path to my right but I decided to just walk on the beach and get it more like less people less people is always a positive thing uh, when you're hiking around you know why not why not look back here wow this is actually pretty nice pretty nice i don't know if this is a path how dark is this oh we are super dark look how dark we are oh this is a dark maybe we should be a black and white here let's go black and white for a while hmm. once we get out of this darkness we will up the brightness on the camera a little bit all right, cool. All right, let's go. Right, or maybe. Or maybe just keeping this film super dark. Wow. All right. All right, we're out of here again. Dun. Yeah, I find that's... This situation. That's very interesting. How much uh, construction junk, like cements and stuffs here. Wow, that's kind of. It's a shame because this is a kind of a neat beach right in the city, you know. I think this is my personal 
uh, feeling. I think they don't want people swimming in this lake because if they do, then uh, they would need to put lifeguards on duty. Because you know, we're right, there's downtown, right? We're about, mm, I say, walking distance to downtown area. So oh, the clouds are amazing. So if you allow people to swim here, then you need a lifeguard. And you have a lifeguard then for a couple of months in the summer, because think about it, you can't swim this now. You can only swim here in August and possibly July. For two months, they need to hire lifeguards, professional life lifeguards for a whole year and pay them and all sorts of stuff. And I don't think it's in their budget. So what they do is uh, in the 80s, they used to say, this is all super polluted, don't go in there. And now they have all this, you know, like logs and rocks and, you know, just very un unpleasant to go to swim. You don't want to go swimming where there's construction site material in there, you know. So I think that's why they don't want anybody in the water because uh, it's it, it'd be dangerous and they need lifeguards and I, th I personally think that I'm not I have no um, reason to prove it but I have this feeling that because can you imagine if this was packed in the summer I mean we're talking summers that are normal summer not special kind of summers you know you know you know what I mean but imagine on hot summers and you live right there and the beach is right here. I mean, come on. It's like, it's like being in a Mexican resort, right? Like you live there and your beach is here. That's like being on a Caribbean cruise holiday. So it'd be packed, you know, if these beaches were clean and mm-hmm, you know, a couple of hot dog stands around and they hand out towels and sell you beach jewelry. This place would be rocking. Then they would need super lifeguards for two months. And the rest of the time, It'd be ice skating rink, frozen. So it'd be not very cost efficient. Too bad. Ooh. So it's fun walking on the sand. It's just a little bit. Oh, everybody's crossing that to the other side there. Let's see if it's possible to do that. And we go there. Maybe we can do a little filming if possibly. I oh, the sun's coming out now. That's pretty good. Very nice. Ooh. Okay, let's just walk on this guy a little bit. Uh, walk this way a little bit, check it out. Oh, look at that seagull. Oh, he just picked something up. What did he pick up? Let's get close to him, see if he can fly and catch him while he's flying. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. All right. What was it? Oh, just a piece of, piece of grass. Look at him. They get a good shot of him. Not really. It was like 250 of a second. For a good shot of a seagull in action, that close, you got to be a thousandth of a second. I don't know if I like that shot. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's see if this guy flies by, we can catch him. I want the bird with the city. No, he drives down. He flies down. I want him to fly right over the city. Now it'd be like a foreground and the background would be the city. There's a rainbow over there too. See if you can catch a shot of that uh, rainbow and light in action. Okay, come on, focus. Nice. I'm not a huge fan of rainbows because they're kind of easy. You know, it's something that nature produces. And when you photograph it, we're going back now. I had to change batteries in the middle of the action. That's funny. Uh, usually when I do a couple of walks, the battery is low and I don't bother changing it and getting ready and it's just like... It's a very spontaneous walk. I wasn't planning on coming here at all. Uh, last minute spontaneously I said, hey, you know, let's catch a look back. 
Can you guys see that on the video? Yeah, rainbows are great in nature, but when you photograph it, it's kind of like very cliche. It's super cliche. Anyway, so this was a little walk on this uh, action. The sound of the waves and the sky. You know, this place be an amazing place to spend the night here, you know, bring a good sleeping bag and just like shelter in here, you know. If things got bad, you can always get out. It's just uh, a few minutes of just enjoying this. And the city. One more shot and we're out of here. How am I gonna make this shot work? Oh, the sky is nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's see what else we can do. Let's get back to the main, main road. It's great, people are enjoying the outdoors. It's nice to see. Kinda got windy, kinda got windy. Let's go this way a little bit and find out what's going on. Find out what's going on. Ready? Da -da -da, da -da -da. Oh. Discovery walk. Share the path. It's an interesting map. I was saying yesterday I'm young and the mapless i was like i was hanging out in beverly Sp uh, spadina and dundas area i was just randomly going to side streets a uh, pretty neat video i liked it neat area small houses walls very interesting char character area and i was back and forth didn't know which street i was in and i didn't have a map so i was young and the mapless all right, so we're back on. That's Humber River. It's the famous Humber Bridge. Uh, I wish uh, in the winter I rode my bike, mm, maybe up to maybe maybe six, seven hundred meters that way, and I stopped. You know, I just stopped. I mean, I don't know why I stopped. I just said I can't be going. I can't be riding my bike on the river all the way to the lake. I just can't. I just my mindset just stopped. And I now wish I'd kind of come and come down all the way here and uh, checked it out. So hopefully the river freezes perfectly again and I can do that. But uh, it was a, a lot of fun. It's probably one of my second videos of the channel. Uh, I was doing all these videos, uh, riding my bike everywhere. And it was just for personal um, memories, you know, I'd always film stuff. And I decided to post it, and it was pretty, you know, I was like, a bunch of people looked at it, and I was like, okay, let's just put more of my walking and spontaneous actions on YouTube. Hope you guys are enjoying all this. If you do, like and subscribe for the algorithm to make a move, I guess. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is an interesting walk here. I never expected to... Look at that. The skies are brilliant. You know when you have sunny day and then the clouds come in and at the end of the day, you always get this amazing, you know, this would be a very, it'd be a different flavor of that shot. The previous shot was very, I was trying to make this like a kind of a cleaner wilderness, like more of like natural wilderness. The second one, you put the, you know, the rescue unit in the middle, you put the white bridge in the back and you turn it completely into a, um, you know, city, city action. This squirrel is just posing for me. Are you kidding me? Oh, too late, you're faster than me. All right, buddy, you're faster. Oof, flies are everywhere here. How can you have flies this time of year? Huh. Yes, you do. 
So I guess uh, the road, if you can hear it to my left, would be Lakeshore, going straight downtown. And next is Gardner Expressway, uh, I guess a major uh, highway in Toronto. East-West Highway goes right through the city. Let's go. And that's a, that's a lion there. Huh. Wow. That's an interesting thing in the middle of nowhere. Let's go see why it's there, why that thing is there. It's funny how where it's placed and the next, I've never seen a monument so close to trees. That's interesting. Usually these monuments are, uh, are uh, in the middle, like a lot of space around them. I don't want to do any more vertical shots because it's hard to, uh, and the video it becomes very small. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth Way, that's what it says there. I guess that's uh, for the highway, which is called, the highway is called QEW, Queen Elizabeth Way. So I guess, but it's a very odd placement of this in the middle of the bushes on a tree right in front of it. It's very almost like, yeah, we don't care about this monument, but we really can't yank it out because, you know, it's going to even cost us more money. So we just let the trees grow around it. That's one way of looking at monuments, right? They spend tons of money and, you know, it's, it's, it's like furniture that you buy and you love and one day you throw it on the side of the street. One day they went through the, you know, saving the money and getting the permission from city and all excited and they had a ribbon cutting and there was on the press and the photographers and the lights and cameras and now they just let trees just grow right on it and you know come back in 10 years what's that in the middle of the trees oh it's a monument it's amazing yeah i gotta get the bike out it feels oh the the, the cold air just switched over it's hot again it was for a second back there it was kind of chilly oh i guess we're gonna join Martin Goodman Trail. So this trail is like a bike trail that goes all the way downtown. I gotta come and play on this again. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the parking lot and uh, end the video here. Thanks for uh, joining me for this short uh, improvised walk. I wasn't planning. I just came in, looked at the water, looked good. Went on a beach. Improvised walk. And if you like it, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you and See you later.